Hello, Lewis from Valkyrie Canine Services. Today we're going to be taking a look at Esco's heel work. So to fill you in quickly where we're at, he understands the position. Um, rarely using any sort of correction to bring him back into the position. He understands that heel is head up, walking nicely, and that produces a reinforcer. Uh, he's also on a variable reward schedule at this point, so he's not getting a reinforcer on every single repetition of the behavior. It's coming sporadically, uh, sometimes first, sometimes a lot of behaviors in so that he's playing that gambling game which is the time where i'm going to get that reinforcer and I'll try really hard to make sure that i get it so we've kind of we don't need to cover the distance on the heel work because th there's no distance to be done on heel work heel work is a close behavior we've done the duration we've got him onto a variable reward schedule he understands that the goal of heel is persistence persist in the behavior and then you get your reinforcer so now it's time to add in distraction Obviously, it's not good enough for our dogs, dogs to only be able to perform behaviours in sterile environments. So now, I need to change the environment and make it more difficult for him to still perform the same task so that we can generalise the behaviour and get him ready for either his sport or working home, wherever he might end up. So, stay tuned. Okay, so we've got our distraction field here, we've got a load of balls out, we've got the bite suit, we've got some things that might tempt him into breaking his heel position to either investigate or play with. So the first thing I'm going to do before I even take him onto that field to play is I'm going to bring him into work. Come. Ready? Ready? So I'm going to set a precedent now, without all the distraction, we're on a variable reward schedule. Now I've changed the situation quite heavily, there's lots of stuff that interests the dog. So my first thing to do is to strip back that um, reward schedule. So just as I'm about to enter the novel thing, I reward him. I'm straight away creating a pattern of when you're entering novelty, I might reward you. Oh. Same thing again. So this is brand new to him. We're entering that new field and the ball comes out. So the reason I'm going to do this a couple times here first is once is an accident, twice is a happy accident, but more than that we're starting to build patterns. We're still starting to build recognition in the dog that something always happens here. So now I'm just starting to push that anticipation a little bit further. So he's expecting it as soon as we get onto the ball field. I just take another step or two, boom, then the same thing happens again.
Good. So you can see this isn't much of a challenge for him really, it's really quite easy, um, he's not being distracted all that much by the balls or the suit or anything, which is good, this is a first session on distraction, so it doesn't need to be trying to break him, we're just starting to introduce him to a picture that it's not always going to be sterile, there's sometimes going to be things in the environment and you've just got to ignore them. Out. Yes. Out. Feel. So on that rep there, I entered the field not once, not twice, but then on the third time the ball came. So if the dog's showing me that this environment's pretty easy, which he is, I can move pretty quickly from that continuous reinforcement schedule onto that more variable reward schedule. But then as I step the environment up again next time, maybe I'll put some more sleeves out there, maybe I'll get someone not necessarily suited, but using some distraction noises, lowly, I can again, Bring that reward schedule back, open it up a bit more, give him more reinforcement, and then dial it back in again as he shows me he's finding it easy. Out. Yes. Out. You can also see that as novel as this environment is to him, I've not had to correct him once. So that's due to the fact that he's already got such a strong arm. So I spoke too soon, I did have to correct him. So as I started talking and I stayed in the, the area for a little bit longer, then he just checked out what was happening. He wanted to have a little look down on the floor. That's fine, all that happens is he gets a little correction, he realizes that that's not a fun response. The best response out is to continue in the heel position, persist in the heel position, and then you get your reinforcer. So yeah, as you can see, this isn't providing much of a challenge to his heel at all. So next time we'll definitely be stepping up a little bit more. We'll see what's on board. Yep. So yeah, you can see this environment isn't providing him too much of a challenge, to be honest. Uh, 
I'm still very rarely having stretching and performing the behavior for a good amount of duration in here. So next time it's probably gonna be a little bit harder, maybe get some more bite sleeves out, something like that, something to really challenge him. Um, make some audible sensations as well, so some audible stimuli, some clatter sticks, maybe some cans, get him used to some of that. Or just the presence of some people. Yeah, probably not a decoy just yet, we're still doing a little bit of work around um, bite work and building that up, so I don't really want to make him too neutral to a decoy just yet. But certainly some people out on the field, just some distractions for him to be able to see. So yeah, way too easy for him this. Definitely ready to move on. Four. Four. Yep. Four. So that was a fairly long behaviour. Now I'm just going to finish up with a good play with him. That was completely the wrong way. Luckily he's got good hunt drive and he's going to find it as he has. Never eat back. So as far as first sessions go, really happy with that one. The rate of punishment went up marginally. So throughout the session, I did two corrections, um, which is, it's a small amount of corrections, two corrections, tons of reward. Overall, it was, a, it was a very successful session. Found this very easy. So I know next session, I'm gonna be looking to make it harder for him and um, really keep pushing him forward. If you like that video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll see more from me soon. Now for the fun bit. Nice.